I got involved in Support Connection a long time ago. Whenever I do any donations, I'm the person who just writes a check. I don't get online, I don't do any of that. I'm comfortable writing a check. If you sent me to the website and I had to do all that, I, I wouldn't manage very well. So check writing is, is easy. The funds that we raise are very, very important because the programs are excellent. We're not giving to a national organization, we're giving to a local organization that helps so many women and their families who are going through either breast cancer or ovarian cancer. Last year my daughter Melissa, my daughter Sarah, and my son David and I participated in a team. Um, we were not an official team, but we all walked together. My son went around on his lunch break and raised like all kinds of money. So, you know, I was really proud of him that he did that. I told them how it impacted us and what the money was going towards, and people were more than happy to help. I think every single person I went up to donated something. We just walked together and raised money together, but we were not an official team, so this year somebody's gonna help me because I'm not good on computers at all. Given that I am a cancer survivor, it's really important for me to give back. The best way to raise the funds for this is to go on and set up a personal page for yourself. Go on, set up the page, put pictures, tell your story, because that's what people are interested in. They want to know that, that you've been through it, that you've survived. You set a goal, and you try to set a, a really good goal, because the more that people donate, the better it is for the organization. Every dollar counts, every single one. Whether somebody can donate $1, $5, $100, $1,000. In the end, it's really important to the people that are benefiting from the support connection, and I would encourage you to donate too. <laughs>